Hello and welcome to your weekly Empowered Word for Living. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to acknowledge God, how to acknowledge the Lord. As always, we ask that you like, share, comment on this video, and subscribe to this channel and click on the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time we bring up a new video empowering your life with the word. How to acknowledge God. How to acknowledge the Lord for your life. Proverbs 16 and 9 says, A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Key terms to consider. First key term is pride. Pride is the exaltation of self, majesty, arrogance, and a bad sense. Second key term is humble. It's to be lowly and to be meek. Third key term is direction. It's a statement that tells a person what to do, how to do it, and in order of instruction. The lesson aim for today is to encourage you to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. Acknowledge the Lord in all of your ways. Even though the King James Version is written in, in Elizabethan English, the Bible is pretty clear and simple. It is not so deep and difficult to understand. It is really easy to understand. All you have to do is get acquainted with the author. Develop a personal relationship with God and his word will just open up to you. This is certainly the case when it comes to the subject of divine direction. Obtaining divine direction is not a difficult thing to do. God has already given us explicit instructions on how to do this. They are found in the words of the lesson text. It's pretty plain. If you want divine direction, do these, do these things mentioned. It all begins with trust. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he will direct thy path. If you want divine direction, follow these steps. It all begins with trust, then leads to the second step, which is to lean not in your own understanding. Lean on God and his unchanging word. Once you get past these two steps, you are ready for the third step, which is to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. Again, this sounds real simple. It sounds real easy. But as have you probably heard over and over again, some things are easier said than done. And here's the reason why. It is because of man's pride. The focus of pride is I. The letter I is located in the very center of the word pride. So pride is all about me, myself, and I. Pride manifests itself in self-sufficiency, self-reliance, and our self-discipline. Man would rather be independent rather than independent, inter interdependent on totally uh, dependent on someone else, including God. The bottom line is that there are many people who feel like they don't need God. They feel like they can make it through life on their own. One of the expressions that may be used by the person caught up in pride is, I got this. If they get lost along life's way, they refuse to stop and ask for directions. They persevere even if they run into a brick wall. If you want divine direction, acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. The key word here is acknowledge. You must come to a point or a place of acknowledgement. You must come to this place of humility. 
You must come to this place where you humbly acknowledge or confess the Lord is your shepherd. You are his sheep and a stranger will not follow. The Encarta Dictionary gives five different definitions of the word acknowledge. Number one is to admit something. Two is to show awareness of something. Three is to show appreciation of something. Four is to recognize somebody or something legally. And five is to thank someone officially. To acknowledge God is to first of all admit something. Admit your insufficiency or inadequacy to God. Secondly, show awareness. Show God that you are aware of him and his omnipresence and that you are aware of his abiding presence and that you are aware that he is present everywhere at the same time. Thirdly, show appreciation. Show your appreciation to God for what he has done, is doing, and will do in your life. Fourthly, recognize God legally. Recognize his legal right to lead you or take you into whatever direction he sees fit. Finally, thank God officially. Thank him in advance for directing your steps. There's a popular humanistic philosophy that goes against everything I have we talked about. It is expressed and thus illustrated in the familiar William Ernest Henley quotation. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Those, are, those who really believe this go through life thinking that they have everything under control and that they have the wherewithal to navigate through life's hardships and reach the destination of their own choosing. However, they are sadly mistaken. If you want to know the truth about it, without God, we can do nothing. Without Christ, we would fail. Without him, our lives really would be drifting like a ship without the sail, like the song says. We are not the masters of our faith. We are not the captain of our souls. This is why we must acknowledge the Lord in all of our ways. So what is the solution to solving the problem of pride? What scripture can we think of? Take a look at Galatians 2 and 20. What are the, which definitions of acknowledge do you like the best out of the five we listed? Admitting something, showing awareness, show, showing appreciation, recognizing someone and thanking someone. What is your opinion about the saying man being the capstone of his soul. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let us know in the comments. And think about other ways that you can acknowledge God in your life. How can you acknowledge him in your heart? How can you acknowledge him when you're dealing with issues in health? How can you acknowledge him when you're dealing with issues and on your job? How can you acknowledge him in things regarding your marriage or your love life? How can you acknowledge him when it comes to your children? How can you acknowledge him when there are things uh, dealing with your family or with your finances or with your future? How do you acknowledge him? All of these things encompass um, the issues of our life when we talk about and deal with spiritual direction. And when we deal with spiritual direction, we must acknowledge him in all our ways and allow him to direct us uh, and our path so we will have the divine direction that comes with no regrets. The divine direction that, that comes and we don't have to continue to apologize for everything over and over again or content, continue to go in cycles over and over again. Acknowledging him helps to give us the direction that we need. Amen. Amen. Be blessed with this word on today. Again, please like, share, comment on this. Let us know how you feel about this. That prayer request you can submit those prayer requests uh, inside of the comments or click on the link in the description that allows you to reach out to us there all right until the next time until the next video be blessed and be empowered